Hello, good morning. It's Donna Wellband, the Hotmus Express this morning. If you are tuning in, come and say hey. We are making cheese topped Cumberland pie. It is cold and I like hearty food in the winter. So this is gonna tick those boxes. So I'm gonna reel off our last eight winners. So I caught up at the weekend because I've been on holiday and our last eight winners are Alexandra Neal, Gemma Clark Studholm, Elizabeth Bennett, Janice Greenwood, Carolyn Looney, Joy Gartel, Beryl Dean and Betty Green. I have messaged you all. Some of you have already got your prizes in the post. So now we're back to normal. So if you hit the share button, we'll be doing the prize draw for this on Saturday. Back to normal as planned. So if you're tuning in for the first time, come and say, hey, I'm a newbie. If you hit the share button, just comment shared so that I can find you for the next prize draw. And if you're just coming to chit chat, say hello. Right, I do look a mess. So today I am hoping for the best, but I'm planning for the worst, okay? And by that, I mean, I've just been away on holiday for a week and I've had a lot of rubbish that I wouldn't normally eat, but hey, I was on holiday. So I've been running hence the wet soggy mess um i've done what i can do you know what it's a holiday but what i have learned is that you need to go straight back to class not put it on because i've done put it off so go face the music and see where you're at when i've done this before i've, I've come back and i'm like well i know i've put weight on i'm gonna wait a couple of weeks until i've lost it again but what happens is because you don't go back to your class you don't stick to the plan, and before you know it, you've piled it all back on, and then you've got to go to class and start from scratch. So, go face the music, that's what I'm doing today. Half 11, my classes, so um, I'm off to face the music. So I thought, do you know what, I'm hoping, best case, I've put three pound on. Worst case, seven, that's quite a lot. So I thought, do you know what, if I get all my dinner prepared, if I come back and I'm like, oh my God, Donna, hang your head in shame. You should not have had three cream teas on holiday. <laughs> then at least I'm not going to pig out on rubbish because I've already got it done. Okay, right, come on, let's get cooking. I'm going, look, I'm quite prepared. Look at all this stuff. There's stuff everywhere. I'm going to be like prepared for the whole week. So no matter how bad it is, I'm going to be stuck to um, plan. Thanks for all the shit. Oh, Betty's on here. Betty, I messaged you. You are a winner. Check your messages, see if it's gone into your others folder. I've just seen your name. Right, okay. So, can you see this other, oh, dang, you can't see it all. This other pan here just has my potatoes in. They're for the mash, for the top of the pie. Over in this pan, we are gonna start the dinner. Right, let me get a knife. I'll post the recipes and the pictures of the food later on tonight once it's all cooked. So if you haven't done already, go to the top of the page, the original diva, click follow, see first. Or if you press on the screen, you can, um, three dots will come on and just um, press to get notifications when I'm live. Then you're not going to miss anything. So I've got one kg of 5% mince. This is from Aldi. It's really cheap. It's like £4.69, I think. This is going to do about three meals. So I'm only going to use half of this in the Cumberland pie. The other half I'm going to use in a chilli, which I was debating on cooking at the same time. I don't know whether to do it. I think I've got enough time. So half of it for the Cumberland and half for my chilli. I might do it because then I won't have to cook tomorrow and I'm all about <laughs> saving time. <laughs> so I'll put half over there. Let me wash my hands. So we need to turn that on and I didn't fry light it. Fry light your pan peeps before preferably. <laughs> I'll have to go round it now. There we go. So this is gonna feed a family of four easily so if you're not a family of four just split it into two dishes or four if you're a one and then you can make them and put them in the freezer because this is freezeable so all we're going to do is brown off the mince to start with 
and I'm going to make my chilli over here as I go. <laughs> but I'm sure you all know how to make chilli. I don't need to confuse things, do I? I'm just multitasking here. Let me turn that one on. Have I got it on? Right, you can't see this one. I'm just gonna make a quick chili. <laughs> then I won't have to cook dinner tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Thank you for all the shares. You are amazing. You'll be in the next prize draw. Right, I don't want to burn anything if I've got that many pans on the go. Right, whilst that's browning, I'm gonna peel and chop some carrots. Let me move that plate and get a bowl for my carrots. That one will do. Good morning, everybody. I can't see you all the way over there. Morning, Kim, how are you? Morning, Helen. Have we got any newbies on? Come and say hello. So whilst we're browning the mince, I'm just gonna drop, uh, chop my carrots and celery for the pie. If you like good hearty food, you're gonna love this recipe. And it's really easy. Again, if you are more than a family of four, you can just double the mix, or you could double it anyway, and then um, just freeze one. I do this with loads of my cooking. I just either do twice as much or cook a few meals at the same time, and I don't have to cook every day. You're all probably thinking, my God, she's lazy. I'm not, I'm just busy, I'm busy. Hi, everybody. Have we all said hi to the newbies? Have we got any newbies? Hello, hello. If you are new, all you have to do is hit the share button and then comment shared and you'll be in the next prize draw. So in the pan, all we're doing is browning off some 5% mince in fry light whilst I chop my carrots. I'll turn it up a little bit. So I'm just peeling them. And we've got our mashed potatoes already boiling. So we can crack on. But I'll post the recipes later, so um, stay tuned on the page so you don't miss anything. Keep going. Carrots are just speed, so I tend to put loads and loads of speed food in the food because it bulks it up. So it makes you feel fuller and then obviously you're not eating as much of the bad stuff. <laughs> if you fill up on free and speed, then you're not gonna need loads of sins. Although I have made a trifle for pudding. Well, I've half made it, I've done the base, I need to do the custard which I'll post the recipe for that again later as well. I thought I'll need a treat if I only put three pound on. <laughs> Keep going with your carrots. And we're gonna do celery as well in this. Once it's browned off, we're just gonna drain off any um, excess fat, but if you're using 5% mince, you should be all good. Hi, Alan and Sue. Thank you for the share. Hi, Julie. You need to come and live next door. No, you don't. You can do this. Like, I say this to everybody. Anything you ever see me do is so easy because I don't do complicated. I like a simple, easy life. <laughs> a simple, easy life. more carrots. I better save something for the guinea pigs, I? otherwise they'll have no veggies. Those guinea pigs eat better than us. <laughs> I just keep coming over to read the comments. You're moving in the other side. I'll tell my neighbours they gotta go. They gotta go. You wouldn't want to live next door to us. It's like living next door to the clan pits, honestly. All you'd hear is my mouth constantly shouting, James! <laughs> the whole neighbourhood know who, who James is. It's quite funny. 
we don't go anywhere without anybody knowing who James is. <laughs> it makes Holly look an angel. Especially when they're up at the crack of dawn. My kids are like out in the garden at half past six, seven o'clock. Next door, they're a lot older. They've got like teenage um, kids. So I think they like to have a lion at the weekend. But when my kids are out in the hot tub at 7 a.m. in the mor morning squealing, you hear the window slam shut. <laughs> so you won't want to live next door to me. Right, carrots done. I'm going to save those ones for the guinea pigs. Right. Mince is nearly browned. Let's go. Celery. Put a good load of celery in as well. Because that's just speed. And it all bulks it up. James will pick out the celery. I'll just about eat the carrots. <laughs> Boom, job done. Let me get another bowl. Look at that one. I think these ones came free in the cereals up. I might put another couple in just to give James something extra to pick out. Thank you for the shares, guys. Newbies pop up. Have we said newbies? Go on. Where are you guys? Right, celery chopped. Done. Right, let's look at Oh, I've got some onions to chop as well. Some spring onions. Give the guinea pigs the peelings. They can, they can have actually, they can have the peelings. They don't like spring onions, they won't eat them. I need a bowl. <laughs> I'm using it all today. I'm doing an Andrew. Right, chop your spring onions. Keep them quite fine because these are going to go into your mashed potato top. Yeah. A bit grotty. So keep them nice and fine. If you don't like spring onions, don't put them in. Could save some and sprinkle them on the top with the cheese too. Guinea pigs don't like the onions, but they'll eat the carrots and the celery. They'll wonder where the whole carrot is if I only give them the tops and the peelings. <laughs> Mel's a newbie. Hi Mel, how are you? Bevel is a newbie. So if you're new and tuning in for the first time, all you need to do is hit share and comment shared and you'll be in the next prize draw. But make sure you go to the top of the page, the original diva, and um, click follow and see first. And you're not going to miss anything. I generally cook on a Tuesday and a Saturday, but I'm live more or less every day. Right, mince is about done. Give me another bowl. No, I won't. I'll use a plate because I'm right out of bowls. Right, I'm just going to drain off the excess fat and I'm going to put the mince on this plate whilst we do the next bit. Remember, you want the 5% lean mint because that's free on Slimming World. Anything else, you're gonna have to sin. And you don't wanna sin it if you can have it for free. You have a very fussy son. Believe me, there is no one fussier than James. He is an absolute nightmare. Right, carrots in. Celery in. Let me move those dishes now. You want about a quarter, of, a half a mug of um, water just to get that simmering. So it's just got the carrots and the celery in there at the minute. And my mince is over here at the side. 
my son is an absolute nightmare worst case i do this we'll all eat the same and i will do something different or I'll, i usually keep like just spare mashed potato for james and he likes sausage balls so i make him sausage meatballs because he doesn't like the skin on sausages either so i tend to have little bits spare for james right onions we want some onions in there I'm just using frozen onions because I don't want to cry in front of you all whilst I peel them. You want a couple of onions, so I just like to pin half the bag. These are so cheap. I use more frozen veg than anything else. Ever since like lockdown, when you couldn't really get out to the supermarket, um, frozen veg, perfect. You don't wash your veg. No, I've just peeled it. It's being cooked. It's absolutely fine. Morning, Ola. Thank you for the share. There we go. That's going to simmer away for around 20 minutes, hopefully. Well, we're going to be a bit quick because we're cooking on live. So let me see if my mash is nearly done. Yes so we can make the mash ready. Right, I'm just gonna go and drain my mash. June's a newbie, hi June. Just draining my mash. Right, I'm just going to mash it first and then do it over here so it doesn't move out. I can't see all the comments now. Morning, Teresa, how are you? Right, I'm just going to start my mash off by mashing it. So all this is, is potatoes. This meal is completely sin-free because I've made a tweak to it. So I've taken out the flour and I've used xanthan gum instead, or I will do when we get to that stage. Don't worry, I will post the recipe later. You won't miss it unless you're not following the page. <laughs> so this is the mash for the top of the pie. There we go, right. In with your mash goes spring onions, mustard powder. I'm using Coleman's one. We're going to put a tablespoon of mustard powder in there. If you don't like mustard powder, don't put it in, but it gives it a nice kick. Then we're going to mash that in. Then once we've done, we're going to mash an egg in and that's going to be the top of the pie done just make sure you do give it a really good mix because you don't <laughs> you don't want to get a teaspoon of um mustard powder in one bit of spud that wouldn't be cool would it we boil the cackle so we can do the beef stock Keep mashing. Bit of elbow grease, guys. Thanks for the shares, everybody. Claire's a newbie. Make sure you hit follow, Claire, then you won't miss the recipe later. I'll post it tonight with a picture of the food. Be amazing, Holly loves cheesy mash. 
James might sit and pick out the spring onions, but he'll be there for a while. <laughs> there we go. Mash made. Boom. Where's my lid? I'm just going to put that over there out the way. Covered. Then we're going to go back to these carrots. Right, now I am going to show you how to do the xanthan gum. I get loads of questions about the gum. Right, so this, you'll find it in the gluten-free section. It's called xanthan gum. Does anybody want to type that in the comments? Because lots of people will ask. It's spelt X-A-N-T-H-A-N and then gum, G-U-N. Now the best way I've found to use it, if I tip this straight in, all I get is just white blobs everywhere. So the best way I've found, I don't want that one. Let me get the thing. Get a couple of teaspoons. You don't need much of this, it goes miles, okay? And don't tip it all in, do it gradually. A little bit of water in your jug. Cold hot, doesn't really matter. And then you get your hand, I call it a whizzer, but I think it's a blender. Somebody will know the technical term. You're just going to whiz it. Just whiz. Morning! Oh, Sharon's put xanthan gum. Oh, lots of people have put xanthan gum. Thank you! You will find it in the gluten-free section of the supermarket. Need a little bit more water. So when you do this, it turns like a jelly. I'll show you in a minute. So this will thicken your sauces instead of using flour, which you're going to have to sin. So can you see, it's just like a gel. And you're just going to spoon that in a bit at a time until you've got like the thickness that you want. Don't put loads in because honestly it will turn to tarmac. <laughs> yes, gluten-free aisle. A lot of people said they haven't seen it in their supermarkets, but it's definitely, I've seen it in Asda, I've seen it in Tesco's, and I've seen it in Morrison's and Sainsbury's. Right, we're going to put, hang on, Worcestershire sauce before I forget. Two and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce going in now. This one's nearly all gone. That's the half. New one. Um, two. Then we're going to add about a, tea, a tablespoon of tomato puree, but don't worry, I'll post the recipes later because um, if you're new to tuning in, I'm a bit of a guesstimator as well. About a tablespoon of tomato puree. There we go. So this is when you would add your flour, but we're going to use the gum instead. Oh, carrots all over the oven. Good morning. We're making cheese top Cumberland pie, but it looks like the hob is eating more of it than I am because I keep not looking and it's everywhere. <laughs> right, damp them gum. Just take a spoonful at a time. Don't whack too much in and regret it, okay? That's just going to thicken it up. They're going everywhere. <laughs> going to have to clean the whole kitchen by the time I finish today. Oh my God. For goodness sakes, Donna. Get a grin. The meal. The, the Hoover's going to have a big dinner today, I tell you. 
Right, that's thickened right up already. So you can see, you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot. Mince back in. Look what you're doing, Donna. Stop wasting it. <laughs> Right, let me turn that down. We're just going to make the beef stock quickly. Two OXO cubes and about 425, 450 mils of um, boiling water. Mush them up in your little OXO things. I never realised that was what they were for. And then just open them. Oh, I haven't put my time in yet either. Don't let me forget my time. Are we on about the xanthan gum now in the water? Have we just missed that? Yes, a tiny bit of water with your xanthan gum, whiz it up with a hand whizzer and it'll turn like a jelly and then just put a spoonful in at a time until you're happy with the thickness. You haven't got to put it all in now. You can put a bit more in later if it doesn't thicken up enough. So we're just making the beef stock. Again, OXO cubes, sin free. So we're just gonna mix this up, then we're gonna pour that in there. I just find if you put the gum, some people have said to me they put it straight in, but every time I do that, I just get white blobs everywhere. And it just doesn't matter how hard I stir it, it's not coming out. Any water, hot or cold, doesn't matter. I just used it straight out of the kettle. So if once you put your stock in, you think you need a bit more gum, once you've let it simmer for a bit, just add it in. Right, this is gonna simmer for a while actually. So I might just make my um, custard pudding from a trifle whilst that's simmering. I'll put a tiny bit more in. Just a little bit at a time, guys. Don't ruin your tea. Because once it goes, <laughs> you'll never pull it back. Take it from somebody that learnt the hard way. <laughs> yeah, you can put peppers in anything you want. Who's on here that always says I put peppers in everything? I do. I'm not. This is this is going to be a pepper-free dinner. <laughs> but I forgot my time, so I'm just going to whack that in now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to put a sprinkle in. But I'll post the recipe, so don't worry. It says four sprigs on the um, on the recipe. Oh look, it's thickening up nicely anyway. Look, oh that looks delicious. It smells good too, Pete. It smells good. Are we still on the xanthan gum topic of conversation? Maybe I should just do a live on the gum. <laughs> I could do with shares in xanthan gum. I think I might be rich. Right, whilst that's simmering, I'm just gonna make the top for my um, trifle. I made a lot of mess. There's a lot of mess around here. Years ago in home economics, didn't you get judged on how tidy you were? Like, I would get a big fat F a fail. <laughs> yes, and it's all sin free. There's no sins in xanthan gum. If you put flour in, you're going to have to sin it. And I'm all like for not sinning anything. Right, trifle top. Let me see if my jelly's set first. Yeah, it's set. Oh, no. It's not set enough, I'm not going to be able to do it. Whilst that's simmering, I'll make my chilli then. I'm not going to be able to do my trifle. I'll pop it in my stories so you can see. My jelly's not set. And if I put my custard on, it's all going to mush into it. Yes, there'll be sins in corn flour. Shall I move this one over here? Who's stopping on to watch chilli? I'm just going to move it over here, look. On. I'm just going to do this while that's simmering and then I won't have to cook tomorrow. So if you stay tuned, say hello. This keeps 
stir in it so it doesn't stick and just let it simmer because it's going to get lots of flavor in there and it's going to thicken right up and it's going to taste amazing right chili's on i'm going to need some onions so i'm just using the other half of the mince because i had a kg of mince but you could double up on that mix and then just make a few dishes and freeze them i'm all for multitasking i'm gonna chuck the other half of the onions in feed again so that one pack of mint is gonna do three meals for us at least i've left that one Morning guys, if you're just tuning in, don't forget to hit the share button and then we will pop you in the next prize draw. I'm going to have to have it tidy up before I go to Slimming World. So you got to wish me good luck at Slimming World because I'm like praying for a miracle today. Is that on? Yes. See, can you see that and how it's just thickening up nicely? It's not really runny and that's because of the xanthan gum that's thickened it up. And it smells amazing. Come on, cook little pot, cook. So no cooking oil, use your fry light. And no flour, use your xanthan gum. And your cheese for your top of your Cumberland pie is gonna be out of your healthy A. So I have just weighed out 100 grams if you get the lighter cheddar, I'm going to show it you quickly. So if you go and get the lighter one, you're going to have 40 grams of this as one healthy A. So I've just grated 100, which is two and a half healthy A's. Well, I'm not going to eat the whole dish because it's like for a family of four. So it's free, basically. But don't forget that you have used it as half of your healthy A. Don't go eating more healthy A's. I don't eat a lot of cheese because I only like it cooked. You can get the xanthan gum from any big supermarket. I've seen it in Asda, Morrison's, Tesco's and Sainsbury's. If it's not thick enough, again, you can just pop a little bit more in, a little bit at a time. Like everybody's gonna love this meal. It's easy, it's an easy. Thank you for sharing to your Slimming World group. I hope it helps. I do hope my videos help you. But I'm not a Slimming World rep. <laughs> I'm just sharing what works for me. I keep telling my rep she needs to come and do lives. So I'm just cooking chilli for tomorrow whilst we're waiting for that to finish and then I can show you the finished product. So when I make a chilli as well, I double up, I put extra speed in it and then I'll make a chilli and also a chilli pasta bake. So then you've got like another two meals just for like one lot of cooking really. So that one pack of mince that was four pounds, is it 69? 4.69 for a kg pack of mince from Aldi is gonna do us three meals. Thank you, Betty. I hope they helped. You know, when I first started doing this, I was like, people are going to think I'm crackers. Absolutely crackers. But I thought, you know what? If it helps one person, then my work here is done. Hi, Susan in Australia. Oh, my word. What's the time there? Isn't it crazy how far you can reach on social media? It's insane. Australia. Have we got anybody further than us? Is there further than Australia? I don't think there is. It's the other side of the world. Anybody in any other countries? Australia is on our bucket list. Me, me, the kids and Andrew have a big bucket list of things we want to do. And Australia is on there. 
Yeah, you could use pork mince, definitely. Or lamb. Lamb's quite fatty, so just make sure like you've got really lean and drain off the fat. This pan is taking ages. It's clearly not a frying pan, but I've used my big one. It's 9.20 at night. Wow. You're going to bed and I'm cooking me tea. You cook this tomorrow, Susan. <laughs> little one cook 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 right in there with my chili oh yeah frozen peppers it's just these i'm pretty sure you all know how to cook chili but hey 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 ho whilst we're waiting whack as much in as you can it's all going to bulk it up. Tin of chopped tomatoes. I'm going to be going back and forth with the cupboard because I hadn't got all this ready because I wasn't going to be doing it. It's going to save me cleaning up tomorrow. Keep stirring your pine dish so it doesn't stick. I think we're nearly there. Right. Need some scissors. Passata. This one's from Aldi. Whole tub. It's the small tub. How big is that? 500 gram tub. Whole lot going in. <laughs> yes, I wasn't going to do the chilli, but whilst we're here and waiting for the pie, I thought I'll just do it quickly. So then once this chilli is cooked, all I do is halve it, well probably not quite half, two thirds for the chilli and then one third for the chilli pasta bake. Taco beans, these ones are from Aldi, I've seen them in Tesco's. These were in the slimmer of the wheat basket one week when I won it and I've never had them before, oh my God, they are amazing, Holly loves them. <laughs> Tin of those, free. See, I keep all stuff like this in my cupboard. <laughs> Ready. I need some kidney beans. Kidney beans, these ones are in chilli sauce, ready to rock and roll. I've missed that. Why should Kerry get commission? Because she's good. I have to put the kidney, yeah. She's always helping. She's fab. I love taco beans. Can't believe I've never had them. They're delicious. Give that another stir. Oh, I reckon we're about there. That looks fabulous. It smells even better. Right, what else do I put in my chilli? Paprika. <laughs> I'm just chucking it all in, look. I make this all the time, so I don't really um, measure it. Coriander. I finally found some in the supermarket. Cumin. And my chilli powder is in the cupboard behind where my light is, so I'm going to have to move you in a sec. <laughs> Chuck it in. I love cumin. It's not coming out very well. It's quite a big pot, so I'm going with about a tablespoon of each. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. We're trying to think of things to do for Halloween, so like I've got a chili made now, so we might be having that with some jacket spuds. Right, I'm gonna pop some Worcestershire sauce in as well. Look, it all just goes in a chilli. You can't go wrong, can you? Hello. Does anybody wanna pop round and clean my kitchen for me? <laughs> Cause it's a mess. Right, let me just grab this chilli powder. It's in the cupboard where you are. Hang on. Bear with me, 
matter with me. Oh God, where is it? Where is it? I know you're in here somewhere. Oh my days, don't tell me I'm out of chili powder. Oh no, here we are. We're all right, we're in luck. We're in luck, babes. But I do need to get some more. Let me just tip that back. Look, you can see it all again now. Yeah, there's chilli in the um, beans, but I still put a little bit of chilli powder in as well. Me and Holly like it hot. Right. There we go. I'm going to let that simmer for a bit whilst we finish this pie. In fact, I'm going to take that off. I'm going to move that to the back. One. Put that on there. Right, now we're gonna make the pie up. Big dish, <laughs> big dish, can you see here? I'm move along a little bit. Hang on, I'm gonna have to put that over there. That's quite a lot there. This is why you need lots of dishes because I'm just going to make a little spare one for just me when everybody else has pizza. Get my little dish. So if you're, if like you're living on your own, just get some of these smaller dishes and make some individual ones. You can freeze them. See what I used to do is just eat it all. But now I make an extra meal and save it either for lunch or freeze it for when they're going to be having something that I really don't want to have. Thank you for the share, Mary. Right, mash that we've already made earlier. I need a spoon and a fork. I'm running out of space because I've made so much mess. <laughs> Let me put them on there. Oh dear. This is what happens when you cook loads. Let me get a little bit from here, look. So there's a little tip. Don't eat the extra. Save it for lunch the next day. Or if the dish is gonna be too big, get some smaller dishes and freeze them so you've got a meal for, the, for another day. Don't eat it. <laughs> Just because it's sin free doesn't mean you're gonna like eat it all. There we go. Mash round. So the mash is just we've mashed the mashed potato, then I've put some spring onions in, a tablespoon of mustard powder, and one egg. How fab does this look? It's gonna be even better when it's on my belly, peeps. There we go. So I'm now all prepared for my Slimming World class. So if I come back and I've put on God knows how much, it's all good. Can you see the pie? How fab is that? I haven't mashed down this one. And we've got a spare one for a rainy day look. Now I'm not gonna put cheese on that one because I'm gonna put that in the freezer. Once it's cooled down. Here's my 100 grams of cheese, ready grated. So as long as you're including this as your healthy A, it is not going to be any sins. And 40 grams of the lighter cheddar is one healthy A. So this is two and a half healthy A's here. And I'm not going to eat all of that. Boom. How lush. Does that look? Now we're gonna pop it in the oven. Job done. How many potatoes did I do? Um, how big was that bag? Hang on, let me see how big the bag was. I can't even see the weight on it because I've just ripped it up. Is that a KG bag? Come to mama, where are you? Two and a half kgs that bag was, and I've used not quite half. So probably about 
one kg of potatoes. Job done. And that's done. That one plus the spare. And my chilli is just going to simmer till it's cooked through and reduced down a bit. Boom! My work here is done, peeps. Yes, you can freeze the spare one, but I won't put the cheese on it. I'll, um, like when I unfreeze it and cook it, I'll sprinkle some cheese on it then. Right. I hope that was helpful. I'm going to go and sort myself out now, make myself look a little bit more respectable than I do because I look a little bit homeless. Um, if you haven't done already, go to the top of the page, make sure you click follow and see first, then you're not going to miss the recipe when I post it later. How big is one serving? Well, that dish is massive. Really, this would do five because we won't eat all of this. There'll be some for me for lunch the next day. <laughs> um, but I'll post the recipe later. You can tweak anything. Like if you see something in a recipe and you think, oh, I don't like that, just swap it for something else, but try and keep the sins down. Um, but that's it. I'm done. I'll um, be back later with the recipe and the cooking. Um, wish me luck, guys, because I'm going to need a miracle. See you later. Bye.